hello everyone let's solve this um, equation completely meaning that we should bring out all the factors all the solutions rather and this will be equal to 16 now the first thing we will do is to multiply right and this will be the same thing as 2x to the power of 3 to be equal to 16 yes because remember this is to the power of 1 so if you multiply the x you pick one of the x and then add the powers which is what I did now there's nothing wrong if I divide by 2 and divide by 2 this way x will be made x to the power 3 will be made the subject this will cancel this and then x to the power of 3 will now be equal to 8 right but then from here this is what you will have x to the power of 3 will be equal to 2 to the power of 3 now if you say that because we have the same power you want to equate the basis then you're not going to have the three solutions you will have just two solutions right but then since we are having x to the power of three it means that you should have maximum of three solutions so let's get the three solutions by bringing everything to the left x to the power three minus two to the power of three this is equal to zero and then if you have um a to the power of three minus b to the power of 3 this is the same thing as a minus b then in the other you have a squared plus a b plus b squared this is what you will have and now i'm going to apply the same principle here so in place of a minus b now i'm going to have x minus 2 in the place of a squared, I will have x squared plus ab now becomes 2 times x, which will be 2x. Then b squared is now 2 squared. This is equal to 0. This means that x minus 2 in this bracket, then x squared plus 2x plus 4 is equal to zero and then from here we have x minus 2 equal to zero or x squared plus 2x plus 4 is equal to zero now we are going to have one solution from here because this is a linear equation and it should give us one solution okay so this means that um x is equal to 0 plus 2 and our x is equal to 2 this becomes our x1 now let's go after our x2 and x3 to get x2 and 3 we are going to pick it from this quadratic equation where we have x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0 now according to this our a is 1 our b is 2 and our c is a constant which is equal to 4 and now what is the quadratic formula the formula is x equal to minus b positive or negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a now a couple of my students will ask me how am i able to remember this formula but this formula is not difficult to remember right and even if you forget this formula you can always learn how to derive this formula using um you know completing the square method of solving quadratic equation okay let's continue now let's put in all the values that we have okay so from here i'm going to put in the values of x i mean the values of a b c 
our a okay we're starting with b our b is 2 so it's going to be negative 2 plus or minus our b is still 2 so i have 2 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 4 then everything is over 2 times 1 let's continue so that x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus in here we have 2 squared which is 4 minus 4 times 1 times 4 that will give 16 and the whole of this is over 2 times 1 which is 2 if we continue then x will be equal to minus 2 positive or negative square root of negative 12 because 4 minus 16 is 12 and this will be over 2 okay now let's continue x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 12 multiplied by square root of negative 1 i always bring out this negative so that i'll be able to deal with the number that is positive right okay so this will now be equal okay this will be all over 2 now let's continue again here we have x to be equal to minus 2 plus or minus 2 of here is the same thing as 4 times 3 what i have done is to bring out the the highest perfect square that is a factor of 12 which is 4 then multiply by square root of negative 1 all of this is over 2 let's continue x from here will be minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 here is 2 so we have root 3 attached then square root of negative 1 is imaginary so we write i over there and the whole of this will be over 2 but now this is what i want us to do x will be equal to 2 can go into minus 2 to give us minus 1 plus or minus 2 can go into this 2 as well to give us 1 so that means we're having root 3 i over there and this one has already eliminated itself so this is what we have and this is a two in one solution like i always say now let's bring the three solutions together the three solutions together okay so we had our x1 before and that is equal to 2 this is a real solution then we have our x2 from here which is minus 1 plus square root of 3i i have picked the positive here now let's go to x3 where i will pick the negative it's going to be minus 1 then negative square root of 3i so these are the three solutions to the equation although it is only the first solution that is a real solution